Hey everybody. Hi there. Uh, we thought we'd close out the month uh, just covering a few quickie things right quick. Right? Okay. Yeah. First off, we have a huge announcement to make. A couple of days ago, we busted 30,000 subscribers. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's yeah. exciting for us. It's very, very exciting. We know there's a lot of other YouTube channels out there younger than us that has a lot more subscribers than that. But when you consider that we very seldom ask for subscribers, for people to subscribe, I should say. And uh, we just, uh, you know, more or less just produce about uh, two videos a week, sometimes three. We feel like we're doing pretty darn good. You no, know, we're excited. Especially for a couple old folks like us. Somebody asked us in a comment <laughs> if we had ever dreamed that we would be with 30,000 subscribers. And, and to be honest, no. <laughs> no, we never ever dreamed of that. Never ever dreamed of that. No. But we are so appreciative. Now, if just every single subscriber would watch just a little bit of each video, yeah. doesn't take very much to count as a view. <laughs> that would be so helpful, everyone. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. <laughs> Just imagine uh, when we look it up and it shows that we had 30,000 views on... On one video. On, yeah, on a particular video. That would be. <laughs> yeah. Uh, another thing is the uh, Tiny House Adventures Rendezvous is getting closer and closer. Yes. And uh, one quick little thing that I would like to mention about that, of course, the dates are October the 16th through October the 20th. 2023. 2023. <laughs> at Pickensville, Alabama. And uh, if you don't know that by now, you know, you just haven't been watching. But uh, we are expecting roughly around 160 people or so. Yes. based on reservations and things such right. as that. And if you haven't made your reservation, they still have a uh, few sites. Yeah, around 30. Uh, probably a little less than 30 now. But, yeah. But right around there, still left in the campground for those dates. One crucial thing that we'd like to mention, and from time to time we'll mention a couple little things along the way. Uh, this is one thing that's uh, kind of kind of one of our pet peeves, and it's, it's very important, especially because of the dates of the rendezvous. Rendezvous. View. Rendezvous. <laughs> if you happen to be departing on the 20th, which is Friday, it's critical, folks, very, very critical that you observe checkout time. And checkout time at this particular campground is 3 o'clock. Now, the reason why we say that it's very critical that you observe that time is uh, there will be other folks coming in for the weekend. And if you dilly-dally around and don't get gone till after 3, and we've even seen some people wait till way after 4, it's going to delay other folks coming in wanting to get set up for the weekend. And one reason why we schedule these rend rendezvous the way we do is so we can leak it, leave it open for those that want to enjoy their uh, weekend camping trips. Exactly. We're yeah. trying to work with and be considerate of right. other people. Exactly. So this is our little tidbit for today. Please, please, please observe the checkout time, which is 3 o'clock. Please be packed, ready to go. Don't start packing at 3 o'clock. Be packed and ready to pull out by 3 o'clock. It's very, very critical, especially it being a, well, it's simply critical, period. Yeah. Rules but it's, are rules. Uh, <laughs> you know, but uh, the weekend is uh, getting ready to start, and that's very, very important for the folks that will be coming in for the weekend, so keep that in mind. Um, another thing is shirts. Yes. Yeah. The shirts, we've had a great response. Yeah, yeah. Um, you have... Um, until the the eighth, the eighth September Se the 8th. September the eighth is cutoff day uh, for you to email us at I ride I, I ride, ride tiny house every time I do that. <laughs> yeah, why do I why uh, do I just go you know? He created it. Yeah, I created it, but it's I ride tiny house at gmail dot com. <laughs> I ride tiny house at gmail dot com. <laughs> I can't believe that um, that I keep uh, forgetting our own email address like that, like I do. So. <laughs> You have to email us no later than uh, September the 8th. Email us at iridetinyhouse at gmail.com and let us know. This is critical as well. I'm not going to put it up in print again. Just listen carefully, please. 
We have to know your name, of course. We have to know the site that you're in, the dates you have that site reserved for, and we also need to know, of course, the size of the shirts you want and it only and rather it be in red or black right color right. Color's as kind far of important. as color yeah <laughs> color is important so you know we need to know the colors you want and the size and the choices you have is red and black yes and the size and if and you the, don't get an email back from me confirming that order i did not get your email so be sure and check your emails again because she will email right back on the same thread that you emailed to her. So, yeah. you know, uh, be sure and check and make sure, you know, right there, because it, it, she'll, that as soon as she processes it, which may not be till the, you know, the next morning, the next morning, depends on uh, when I get the you order. You will get the con confirmation. Uh, the shirts, you will uh, reimburse us for the cost of them when you pick them up at the campground. We don't want any money right now. We're going to cover the cost of the shirts. Uh, and then you simply reimburse us. So that's why we need to know all this other information just to be certain that it is not a prank order. And if you do order, be sure, please, and pick them up and yes. reimburse us because we're, you know. And it's $30 a shirt. Doesn't matter what size, what color, they're all $30 a shirt. But what we'll be doing uh, on September the 8th, that evening or the following morning, early that morning, we will be turning around and sending all the numbers to the vendor who happens to be in Alabama also so they can go ahead and start producing the shirts. Right. And then we'll make sure that they are there uh, on site when we get there at the campground. So those are, uh, those are key things. Just keep that in mind. Uh, you've still got a few more days if you decide you want a shirt. What sizes are they going to be available in, dear? Small through 4X. 4X is limited. Yeah, yeah. But. Uh, so far, we don't have all that many 4Xs. But, uh, yeah, fall through... Fall. fall Small low. through 4X. <laughs> I'm okay. Are really. You? I need a fireball. Uh. Anyway. <laughs> But Deb and I, we're both wearing the shirts right now, you know. Yeah, remember the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what the back looks like. And uh, and we're excited about it. Yeah, we're excited we are. about the rendezvous getting coming up. We're, mm -hmm. we're uh, busy making our final uh, arrangement. Yeah. Things going on every evening, and I'm going to try to comply, uh, compile a list of things to do in the area there's not a whole lot but there are a few things there are a few things if might, you want that, to do the that, tourist thing that some might find interesting uh, interesting yes you know. um okay the question that we would like to address and this is from one of our last two videos covering the uh our detailed walkthrough on the van on the van how about on the trailer <laughs> we haven't done one on the van man <laughs> I cannot believe He's been sick. Poor baby. I have been sick. I have been sick. <laughs> and it's affecting his brain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm better now, but I have been sick, yes. Uh, uh, anyway, we'll, we'll talk about that another time. <laughs> but anyway, the, this, this was the question that was posed, and I can't remember if it was on part one or part two. But the, uh, the comment with a question states, Great build. I know you covered cost of build. Not sure if you gave the timeline and hours to complete this. Mm. Okay. In fact, we really did not cover the cost of the build. In uh, Not lately. No, no. In the last two videos, we didn't cover the cost. No. And, and in previous videos, uh, you know, a few months back concerning our build, we did kind of touch on where we were and where, what our estimates were. Mm -hmm. And um, so here's, here's the poop on the cost of the build. As it sits, with all of the, uh, you know, everything that we added that you don't find on our traditional RV, uh, we're setting it right at twenty-seven thousand dollars in the cost of the right. bill. Right, and in our in our walkthrough video, we forgot to mention that we had uh, insulation in the ceiling, walls, and yeah, floor. Yeah, which we also forgot to mention that that we do have an inch yeah. and three quarter inches, inch and three quarter inches. <laughs> He's gonna have a lot of oh, man. <laughs> inch and three quarter insulation in the walls and ceiling, and we also have three quarter in the floor. In the floor, yes. and it's all foam board insulation. Yes, 
We so, didn't mention uh, that in our walkthrough. Right. We forgot. <laughs> but now, as far as the uh, the timeline or how many hours it took to complete the build, and I and I know what what this person is alluding to is weighing the difference, you know, uh, or or looking at the cost of labor. And we didn't really keep track of the hours. Uh, I will say this, there were th projects that we were working on, certain things we were working on that we just knew we could get done in this length of time, and it ended up being this length of time, you know, or longer. So uh, I don't know, as far as hours are concerned, uh, if you were to buy a traditional RV, uh, hours can hours in, in building that, you know, I've heard stories where they whip them out on a daily basis you right. know and of course that didn't happen no. now now we did spend uh the initial first 90 days is when we got the bulk of all of the basic things built and during those 90 days we were working an average of five days a week on it we would take a break and but as far as hours per day I would say tops would be five or six hours That's because the most we could do yeah because we're yeah, you know, and it was in the middle of the summer, yeah. and it was hot, and we had our day day job right. at that point, working for yeah. the Corps, and right. so you can't, in my opinion, you just can't, we can't, there's no way we can estimate the hours. There's no, no way. No, no, but that'll um, kind of give you an idea. Because um, it, on the other hand, it is a build as you go. You think about something, and then you figure out how to build it. Those are time-consuming projects. Right, right. That doesn't count the 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 sleepless nights we both had. And the fights. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't count those either. We never fought. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Difference of opinion. <laughs> well, I think the only time that we had, uh, of course, you'll have your uh, your uh, version of this story, and I have my version of the story. My version of the story was she thought that I was Superman and I could just go, you know, and it would be done. You know. No, I did not because I was I right there you. with him. I told you. I was doing the same thing, only not running the saw, but I was holding the boards, thinking about the I design. That. No, but when you would present me with a list. No, I never presented you with a list. Well, it wasn't a written list. Oh, whatever. But see, we're already fighting. See. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> you guys that have been married, you know, for a while, you know exactly yeah, moving on. the yin and the yang thing going on here or whatever you want to call it, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, as far as, here again, hours concerned, no, we didn't keep track. I, I, let's just say this. It was a lot. It was. Yeah. It was we, a lot. We spent a lot of time on it. Um, and I, you know, other people. That one don't want the definite, you know, the look that we were going for, mm -hmm. and we had the same basic. We wanted, you know, we wanted to look like a small, luxury apartment. Yeah. Not everyone wants that, no. and that you know that's up as we have always Doesn't said. Doesn't matter. That's well, up to the individual. You know, exactly. You right. build it to suit you. You can spend three hours on it by simply throwing in a cot and throwing in your Coleman stove and throwing in a bucket to you know to take care of emergencies <laughs> and pack you some water and you're all you that's right you know well you know we did a video here a while couple back. of three hours and you're hitting yeah, the trail we, we did a video here a while back where this uh young man had his uh, uh conversion ready to go in three days yep. ready for camping so, in three you know, days it's it's and then, all individual and then a couple years ago or a little longer than that i remember randy's video he actually built that in three months and it was a pretty elaborate setup yes but the difference with randy was over us he wasn't living in it at the time no um and he, he had a helper he had a helper plus he basically built it in his backyard and he had a complete shop Work, all set woodworking up shop at, yes at his house <laughs> that makes a huge so, difference he didn't have to put his tools away every right, day <laughs> right so you know all those things come into play you know we always had to bring all the tools out of the morning and then pack everything back up and put it away uh sometimes the rain would come in the middle of the day you have to cover everything up yeah, real quick <laughs> yeah so there were so many factors involved you know and we were living in it uh, after the first 30 days of building basically the bed frame, uh, a basic setup for the shower, and uh, modifying a bucket 
for a bathroom. Uh, we did all that in the first 30 days. Uh, in the first 30 days, we did that, and then we were living in it right then, you know. Um, so all that came into play, you know, and, and I can't tell you how many times we had to pull the mattress off of the bed platform to work Worked on under it and then put it back yeah, together. And, yeah, <laughs> and this or that. So uh, it, it would be different if we had a shop set up with all of our tools and had this thing uh, parked right outside the shop and I didn't have to worry about unpacking and repacking the tools and all that stuff. And even though I have my own method of uh, putting tools where I can get my hands on them, uh, which to Deb it drives her crazy, but you know how you know how we he are. He has no guys. method. He has no yeah. method. I just know that I left it right over there, and it's no longer there. So where is it? <laughs> okay, and then she would say, "Okay, tell me what kind of tool you're you're talking about." What are about. your tool are you looking <laughs> for? And then it's logical where it is. <laughs> it's logical. Logical to you, not to me. <laughs> oh. Argument number two. <laughs> And y'all thought we got along so well. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I guess uh, that's that's that. But that's the best way that we can uh, address that particular. And that may not have been the answer you're looking for. Yeah, but, a comment or question. Yeah, we just can't. Uh, but you know, it's a whole lot better if you've got a place to lay your head down at night. That the, is the, not not the trailer you're trying to live in while you're building it. The way we look at it, we have less than thirty thousand in it, and we don't owe anything on it. Exactly. And we have a home. Yep. That yep. we can travel in. And, and we, we can be in sub in teens. The, you know, wise. down at the temperature wise, or just like last week, 124 real feel. Yeah. And we were co. We were just oh, fine man. in here. We could. We had it. In we fact, had. I kept turning that thing. Turn it up to 76. Yeah. <laughs> it's we, too we cold in here. It where you could hang meat in here, you know. Uh, so you know, um, that's what we're proud of. Yeah. On the heat, the heat of the day, you know, all we had to do was just come in, come in here, prop ourselves up on the bed, and watch a movie, right in front of the flat screen TV, pull up a movie. <laughs> we got caught up on a whole bunch of Netflix movies. There's several we can recommend, by the way. Yeah, it all, all depends on what what you're interested in. Uh, our our favorite thing is sci-fi and action movies. That, so, those are know, our favorite types we, of movies um, and whodunit movies. So, so in that. We don't count the cost of our labor. No. We don't. So anyway. Anyway, we're going to let you go for now. This is Bill and Deb with High Ride Tiny House Adventures. We're not camping. We are living. Y'all get out there and you do some living and we will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.